بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We're going to look at Surah 57, Ayah number 20 where Allah has summed up our entire life in one single verse So Allah says اعلموا know know that this life of this earth is لعب games Now listen carefully to how Allah summarizes it لهون pastime Zina attraction Tafakhurun baynakum Boasting and showing pride between yourselves Takathurun fil amwali wal awlad Trying to show rivalry between yourselves in Amwal, your wealth and awlad, your children Now Allah has given five things in here He'll give an example And then Allah is going to tell us what the reality of this whole life is So listen on Kamaka li ghaythin a'jab al kuffar nabatu Allah says it's like a thick rain cloud that the farmers see and they're quite surprised how it's going to give them a good harvest but then it withers away and you'll see that it's turned yellow and soon you'll see it's reduced to stubble. Allah then says in the Akhirah there is great punishment and there is going to be forgiveness from Allah and His pleasure and the whole of this world is nothing but a deception or Assets or things that you have that will deceive you. Now, how did Allah summarize the whole life in this verse? Think about it. Look at this first word. Allah says that the life of this world is going to be like games. When someone is young, all they want to do is they want to play games. Young children want games. When they get to be older, they want amusement and pastime. So the difference between that and this is, this is more kind of physical games. Whereas, it, whereas here, you start to get into the mental games. Or you start to see amusements where it's entertainment, pastimes, people start to then get to console games and so on. Things that will pass their time by playing these. Then when they grow a little bit older, they're in the teenage, you will see that they want attraction. So they will attract people to their lives, to themselves, to their bodies. They will do a lot of things to their hair, to their face, just to get people to be attracted to them. Then you will see little bit older and you will see right at the end of the teens or you'll see at the beginning of the 20s they will, you will see tafakhurun baynakum which is it's going to be showing some pride or boasting between one another to say look I've got this I own this I've got this car I've got this house I've got this job I've just finished my exams I got an A star I have passed with these marks so all of this is trying to show boast boasting between one another and rivalry and finally you'll see here's the midlife to the end of one's life which is you're trying to increase your wealth and you're trying to increase your children so people will say you know I've got this much wealth I'm now I'm a businessman my turnover is this much this much or you'll see that they say well mashallah I've got my third kid I've got my fourth kid I've, I'm on to five subhanallah al -Azim. Allah says all of this if you think about it look from right from a young age all the way till down here what is it it's just like you saw the rain cloud you saw something coming ahead your future was bright but your future soon will be the past you'll soon see that the age that you have will turn to nothing but in the end it will wither it will turn yellow and then it is stubble and Allah says all of this was a deception then he gives us advice he said Sabiqu, race one another if you want competition this is what you race yourselves towards Raise yourselves towards the forgiveness of your Lord. Raise yourselves towards the Jannah, that its breadth is going to be wider than the heaven and the earth. It has been created and prepared for the people who believe in Allah and His Messenger. That is the bounty of Allah which He gives to whoever He wants. And Allah is the one who gives great bounty. SubhanAllah, all of this Allah has said that you know what? During that whole life, if you haven't taken with you, what really matters for the next life which is the future beyond this life then you're either going to face one of two things either you will have punishment in the next life or you will have forgiveness and the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. make your decision Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh